watch. Like I don't want to watch something that is down, you know, four weeks in a row because there's no value there. It's just a linear move lower. Again, there's a difference between a stock moving lower and a stock going down. And this is a name that I definitely want to keep an eye on because it's not overextended yet to the downside. We started seeing. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Again, another day, um, same thing, right? Same thing, you're, you're sell biased. Uh, the market is uh, moving lower. Um, you have headlines, ge geopolitical headlines coming across. That's pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. But again, it's pretty orderly, and, and that's the most important part. Uh, you, you, it is still a lot of good value trading on both sides of the market. Granted, if you're trading on the long side, and we'll get to the pivots in a second, but if you are trading on the long side, you have to trade for cash flow. And if you are trading on the short side, you have to make sure that anything that you are putting on the short side is not overextended five, six, seven, 12, 30 days away from its natural pivot. That's the most important part because the faster, the longer, the further, uh, a stock is away from its natural pivot, whether it's daily, or let's just use the word daily, uh, daily pivot, the higher probability that the trade is gonna go back the other way becomes very, very high. And that's kind of our job right now to go forward. Like today, for example, you had um, some news come out one o'clock or actually two o'clock was a little bit later. Uh, Biden was taking the stands and he basically proved uh, that he is a lover, not a fighter, okay? He's not gonna go into war against Russia. We have no interest in going into war, but we will penalize you. Shame, 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 shame. And we will put uh, sanctions on you. And, and ironically, the market actually got a little bit of a lift uh, off its lows. But here's the most important part of what we had today. Again, the drift goes lower. We tested the levels here. And you can see here the January 24th low of 334 was successfully tested today and the market bounced. That's it. That's the only reason uh, the market bounced today. Now, again, every single day, uh, it's very, very tough to turn around and say, well, the market's going to go down every single day. Because again, like I said in previous videos, even the worst bear markets I've ever traded, there's always opportunities of upside price action, uh, whether it's one, two, or three days. You can even see here, we're well below uh, the you know the, the, the daily support breakdown, and we still had a three-day rally. Again, rejected off supply and move forward. But you can see with all the green candles, there's definitely opportunities to trade on the upside, but the market continues to be the meat to the downside. And what we're looking for going into tomorrow, going into the next day or the day after that, are names that haven't broken down from their technical basic range. Everything's lower, we know that, right? Everything's been selling off uh, for about a month and a half, two month period, but there's a lot of names that are still ironically above their 200 day moving average that if they start cracking, can get hit really hard. Here, case in point, look at a name like NVIDIA. NVIDIA, every single time it's tested the 200 day moving average, it held, it bounced, it held, it bounced, and today it closed right just above it. So this is a name, obviously, I want to keep an eye on. There was a really good pivot uh, on Friday off this 236 level, traded back down to this level here, and it held the 200-day moving average. That's something I want to watch. Like I don't want to watch something that is down, you know, four weeks in a row because there's no value there. It's just a linear move lower. Again, there's a difference between a stock moving lower and a stock going down. And this is a name that I definitely want to keep an eye on because it's not overextended yet to the downside. We started seeing um, some pretty aggressive uh, short-term put buyers coming in for, uh, let's see here, what was it? It was um, the weekly uh, 220s and we saw some March 200s and some 190 puts. So if they start building uh, kind of a repertoire of buying deep out of the money short-term expiration, this is definitely something that we wanna watch. Even a name like Tesla got really saved today by the Biden kind of announcement. You can see here, uh, Tesla held on to its 200-day moving average here, and Tesla held on to its moving moving average here. L look at the bottom of the range here. It's pretty darn clear. If Tesla starts losing the 200-day moving average, just the, the way NVIDIA could potentially could lose the 200-day moving average. This could be really aggressive, and that's the point. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for really aggressive potential that stocks that are still 
above their natural support. And if they confirm that natural support, the stock can get hit as well. Um, also, another thing, you know, we, we're also looking for a lot of names that had recent weakness in earnings. So for example, a name like Shake Shack, granted, it's not, you know, not a stock that got destroyed, but this, this stock has been steadily going down uh, for quite a bit of time. And you can see here where it stopped on its earnings lows. And now our job is to watch to see if it confirms its earnings lows. If it confirms its earnings lows, then it could start a nice channel down all the way back down to 58. So there's definitely things to do, okay? There's definitely still a ton of value left uh, on the downside. And until the market reclaims the 200 day moving average, it's gonna be like, you know, we're gonna be a broken record and say this, but you have to be uh, sell bias. You have to be sell bias every single day. Even if those day, even if the next day tomorrow, we have a two, three, 400 point rally. Yeah, we'll find some channels to trade to the upside, but they're gonna be cash flow value. They're gonna be cash flow values. You know, a couple of bucks here, a couple of bucks there. We're just trying to kind of take advantage of the channel, but we're not naive to think we're gonna go straight down uh, and every single day is gonna get absolutely destroyed. But the word destruction and the word panic and the word you know, crash just doesn't apply to this market. If you trade this market, if you're actively trading this market every single day, you can see that. Today, there was absolutely nothing. Uh, it was pretty orderly on the way down. They pretty much rallied pretty, uh, you know, after the Biden speech, and then they kind of sold off uh, pretty orderly on the way down. So there is no panic, right? There is no panic. There is no fear. Uh, none of my buddies are calling me and say, oh my God, what do we do? Get out, get, you know, get out of uh, underneath the desk. The market's about to implode. Nobody's saying that, right? It's just very orderly. And the most important part is, is very organic and it's very tradable. So going into tomorrow, again, is it possible we rally tomorrow? Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll find some channels uh, to the upside, uh, just like we found some channels to the upside uh, this morning. Uh, but I'm definitely sticking to some names. I'm definitely watching to the downside for tomorrow. Look at Tractor Supply, right? Look at Tractor Supply. Closed today on the first, literally broke every single support. First close. Uh, below the 200-day moving average. This thing confirms, uh, hell, this thing has a lot mo more moved down. Uh, look at Boeing, right? Look at Boeing today. Uh, Boeing closed uh, below the 50-day moving average. Um, has some room down. Has some room down to 195, 190s. And if the market continues to implode, hey, who knows? Maybe we could get down uh, all the way down to the 183 level. Obviously watching Tesla, obviously watching the video. But the most important part from the macro point of view, Let's continue to watch the cues. Now we have a definitive line in the sand. It's tested this uh, 334 level both on January the 24th and today. If this market starts, you know, confirming that 334 to the downside, it's lights out. It's next uh, leg down. So let's talk about uh, today's price action. Uh, pretty, no, pretty solid, right? Pretty solid. Nothing crazy, but uh, pretty solid uh, indeed. So here are the pivots. Uh, here are the pivots going into the day. Uh, obviously, monster, monster move on uh, Amazon on Friday, broke that 3090 level, went all the way down uh, to th 3017. Again, huge move Friday, 3017, if it builds below, has potential, it still does. That's the craziest part about the tape right now. If you look at Amazon's chart, right? And this is the first, this is literally the first close underneath this whole support here. Look how much room down we have, right? Again, if the market continues to bleed over the next several weeks, there's a potential. Why can't it get down all the way down to the bottom channel? If the Qs get, get down to the January 24 lows, why can't Amazon? I'm not saying it will, but why can't it, right? And if you see you know, your eyesight's not gonna de deceive you, there is no support until all the way down to 2737. Again, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, I don't know what's gonna happen next week, but at least you see the air and the measure of potential uh, that it has in front of it. But anyway, uh, 3017, if it builds below, can flush. Uh, Amazon went all the way down to uh, 2969 uh, before recovering, but this is definitely the lowest close of this whole formation. And if the market continues to bleed, it's going to bleed uh, with it. Uh, Lucid, not a big move. Uh, 2550, 25, if it builds below, can flush. A buyer came in. Uh, for the weekly uh, 25 puts, uh, I traded down to like 24.97 before it bounced. Uh, NET seemed to have a buyer there the whole day at 94. It only went down like 75 cents, nothing really there. Uh, Moderna reports in a couple of days. I still like this 138 level. I don't know if it's gonna get uh, tested here, but 
you know, if if this thing reports bad earnings, uh, guys, watch this thing on earnings. If it reports bad earnings, that 138 is going to be a massive line in the sand uh, just because it tested three separate times and it bounced. So that's going to be a big, big number uh, there as well. Uh, Dollar Tree never got up there. Uh, Tesla, nice little pop for us. And this is kind of the point where we talk about cash flow. Uh, just in case futures pop, 846 needs to build uh, for a possible cash flow move to 853. Here was Tesla. Right, so it took out, uh, it took out this uh, right over here. So it took out where the hell was it? Excuse me, right there. So it took out this 846 level, went right to this 853, 855 level. Nice little move. Again, cash flow sometimes is pretty good. Facebook not a big move at all. 2063 needs to build. Only ran up to like 207 before it got hammered. Uh, again, beautiful move. You know, sometimes you don't need you know massive, massive moves. Sometimes you get the cash flow. Here's the, actually a nice move. Uh, to the upside today, 121.50 needs to build for a cash flow move on Roku. Uh, take on the way up. This thing went to 127. Really nice move here. So here is, you know, so here was uh, the 121.50, and it traded all the way up to, you know, all the way up to this 127, 128 level. Nice move on Roku there as well. Uh, SoFi daily support. I still like this thing. Uh, SoFi daily support 10.50. If it builds below, can flush. A buyers were coming in for the March 4th uh, $10 puts. I still like it. I think it goes lower. Uh, look at the chart on SoFi, right? Look at the chart on SoFi, right? This is the lowest, pretty much closed at the lowest, 1026. 1050 was the pivot uh, below this daily channel. I still think it sees south of 10. So continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, NVIDIA, again, monster level here coming up. Uh, Lucid 25 on deck for all you guys who took the 2560 level. And the most important part is kind of what we're setting up for tomorrow is the big heavy tech names. Because again, if the big heavy tech names continue to lead us down, it's going to pull down everything with it. Is it possible you get a dead cat bounce tomorrow just because again, a lot of people are turning around and say, well, now we have two, 334 as our bounce. As our, as our line in the sand, we can go long here and use 334 as you're out. Okay, if you're willing to trade, you know, if you're willing to risk $4 on the queues to each his own, right? You know, you're a dime, you're a dance floor. That's not really my game. You guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Again, take it one day at a time, one trade at a time. Again, we're not trying to uh, guess the closing price. We're just trying to win our interval. Business as usual, nice and calm and orderly. Guys, have a great night. God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow.